Hey everyone, it's Belinda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a Dynamo script that I wrote that creates views, creates sheets, and then places those views in the sheets. Now before you run this Dynamo script, you need to download the Steam nodes and the Archilab packages. Let's see how it works. Here's a hospital project that I'm working on. You can see the 3D view on the left and a plan view on the right. Now the first thing I'm going to do is open up the Dynamo script that I wrote. You'll find a link to this in the description below. There are four different parts to this script. The first reads your Excel file, the next creates views, the third creates sheets, and the fourth places the new views on these new sheets. So this is the Excel file that I made and I want to create these three new sheets and place these corresponding views on them. Once I run this script, you can see immediately that the three new sheets were created in my Revit model. A102.1, A103.1, and A105.1. And when I open them up, you can see that the views were placed on them too. You can see that I need to fix the scales on these views. So let me explain how this Dynamo script works. So the first part of the script reads the Excel file like I showed you earlier. It extracts all the data from that Excel file and then creates five lists from that data. The sheet name, the sheet number, a view template, the view name, and the corresponding view level. Now, two of these lists, that is the view name and the level, are taken to the next part of this Dynamo script, which creates the views. It uses this flow plan view by level node, which you can see on the left is an inbuilt Revit node. If you don't have a view template, you can just bypass that custom node on the right, view.applyViewTemplate. If not, link these new views to that node. The next part of the Dynamo script creates the sheets. It uses the sheet names and sheet numbers from your Excel file, and then uses this custom Python node to create the sheets. I declared an empty sheet list, and then using a for loop, I created the new sheets and added them to this list. The final output is this sheet list. This output is taken to the final part of this Dynamo script where the new views are then placed on the new sheets. This also uses a custom Python script. There are four inputs to this Python script, the new sheets, the new views, and X and Y coordinates for where you want the views to be placed. We also use another for loop in this Python script to create viewports and then place the viewports at the X and Y coordinates that are declared. Now there are several ways to automate the process of creating views and sheets. Later on this week, I'm going to show you another method. So stay tuned for that video. Until then, I'm Belinda. This is Automation in Building Construction. Thanks for watching.